Hey guys, welcome back to Flat Creek Outdoors. I'm Phil and we're back in the wood yard after almost a month away. And I told you guys on a previous video, I was gonna show you the updated wood yard up here. This is now moved up closer to the entrance of our property where it's not gonna be kind of in the way with uh, the regular part of our business. So uh, I've covered some of the other business stuff on my other channel on Woods Tree Farm. And lately we've been planting flowers. So when it comes time for flower season, we're gonna have a lot of traffic in and out of the property. And I didn't want all the wood yard mess right there where people are kind of walking in and out. So I am slowly getting all of that cleaned up and getting everything moved up here where it'll be out of the way. So I've got some wood split over here. I brought some pallets with me today. I'm gonna to try to get some of that stacked up. Uh, I previously started on that. I only had one pallet left and that is what's right there. But what's gonna happen is along this kind of tree line right here, I've cleaned a lot of the underbrush out and a lot of leaf litter out. And I'm just going to be stacking my pallets down in here, and that's where all the wood's going to get stacked. Just down there, you can see some logs. That's where I'm going to stack all of the oak and poplar and elm and the other woods that will dry out in just one season. And then over here, I'm going to have all the oak and hickory. That takes longer, probably two seasons, and I'll end up keeping it separate that way. So I'll do all the splitting of the maple logs and all that stuff over there, stack it over there, and I'll do all the splitting of all the other logs over this way. got that much stacked it's about half maybe a little over half of what I had in the pile over here but I'm out of pallets so I need to get a hold of some more it is hot today I'm struggling to find motivation but I want to make good use of my time that I've got here today so I'm gonna buck up some of these logs that are over here I've already got a bunch of rounds on the ground that I can split but I'm gonna buck up these couple logs that are in the way and then we'll drag the splitter down here and we'll add more to this pile and then next time I come hopefully I can get a hold of some pallets and we'll get some more of this stacked up and we'll continue that process of building this 2023 inventory.
little change of plans. I forgot I ran out of gas the other day when I was mowing out here and I never refilled my can. So I'm not going to bring the splitter up because I don't have fuel for it. But I can use the forks on the tractor, pick up some logs, and pile up some more rounds over here. I realize because the log lift on the splitter is on the right hand side as you stand behind it and all of my rounds are over here on the left. So I'm going to start bucking up logs uh, over on this side if I'm going to keep splitting and making a pile here and I will keep doing that until I uh, fill up this pile of wood over here, the stack of wood, and then I'll have to go on the other side of that tree over that way and I'll have to kind of stage my rounds over that way. So it's just a little something I'm figuring out with this new wood yard layout. But I'm going to get cutting on that, make a nice big pile of rounds here, and then we'll have to follow up on another day and do a whole bunch of splitting. stick here is just a piece of PVC. I glued a magnet on the end and I thought I could stick it on the bar of the saw and then use that to mark, but this magnet isn't actually strong enough to hold up this piece of pipe, so that didn't work out.
So I'm finding it hard to get back in a routine here. Routine with doing the wood the way that I was before when the weather was nice and cool and in a routine publishing videos. But hopefully I'll pick that back up for you guys here in the coming weeks. I've got a lot I want to do here. And, um, you know, this stack here, I want to add to it some more. Bring the splitter down here maybe on the next video in a couple days and just blow a whole bunch of wood through that splitter and get it over there drying out and then i've got all this wood that's on the ground still to split i've got that big pile of logs there to split and i'd like to do that before july gets here because july and august are our hottest months and i want that wood seasoning and drying out for the for that time so i can sell this stuff next year so i'm gonna wrap us up thanks for watching thanks for spending a little bit of time hope you enjoyed it and i'll catch you on the next one Bye bye